Welcome to Edwardsport, Indiana, where Duke Energy is replacing an old power plant with some of the most cutting edge technology to produce electricity today. Let's go take a look. This, this will be the, the cleanest coal burning plant uh, in the world when it goes online in 2012. In terms of socks and NOx and mercury, uh, the impact on, on water, et cetera, um, it is, uh, it is a, as, as clean as technology can, can, can bring. It is a, as, as clean as technology can, can, can bring. Um, and when we, when we solve the carbon problem through capture and sequestration, which we plan to, to pilot here at this site. Um, and when we, when we solve the carbon problem through capture and sequestration, which we plan to, to pilot here at this site, uh, it will have a positive impact on carbon as well. Well, it's, a, it's an emissions thing and it's, it's an efficiency thing. This plant will run, uh, in, in efficiency terms, uh, uh, maybe 8 to 10 percent better than a pulverized coal plant. Uh, secondly, the emissions uh, are, the SO2 emissions are 10 times better improved over the new source review standards for sulfur dioxide four times better for NOx. Uh, because of the efficiency, the CO2 emissions are about 42% of what a plant like that would be on a per megawatt hour basis. When we started the work, we were really doing it because of the great work, the great benefits on SO2, NOx, and mercury. What we didn't appreciate was how great this plant would be as a potential for CO2 capture and storage. What we didn't appreciate was how great this plant would be as a potential for CO2 capture and storage. With the technology that's in this plant and the potential for capture and sequestration of carbon, uh, it has national and, and, and world impact as well. So uh, it, it's really uh, uh, an opportunity to take advantage of technology today for clean air emissions and provide a technology that allows us to have a, a real good stepping stone to the future.